Hi guys, it's me Castle and today I really felt like going green a little bit. Green is one of my favorite colors. I just feel like it's such a pretty color in general and so I just really felt like just doing a fun green look. So let's get on with it. First off, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. I feel like this just helps with the redness of my face and kind of the difference in shades across my face and so I just kind of put it on my hands and I just rub it around all over my face. So after using my primer, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain and I just put it on my hand first and then I dab it. I take my little finger and I dab it across my face and then I go in with my e.l.f. triangular buffing brush and I just buff it around my face. So after I finish buffing out my foundation, I take the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and I honestly just go under my eyes and on trouble parts on my forehead, stuff like that. I also go a little bit under here so it gives me a little bit of a lift. And so I don't go on my nose because I just don't like the way I look whenever I put concealer on my nose. But yeah, I just put it on there, and if I have any acne that doesn't want to be covered up, I'll put it there. So after I have blended all of my concealer in, I don't set it just yet. I take a contour stick, and I contour a little bit of my nose. I contour it right here, and then I contour it right above this little tip. And then I just blend that out with my finger, honestly. So after I finished blending out my nose contour, I take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 and I just press that into my whole face practically. So I just shake a little bit into the top and then I take my little brush, my little face brush, and I just take it into my under eye to make sure I don't get creased. My foundation and concealer doesn't crease throughout the wear and I think it also just helps smooth out if you have like acne or something. It just helps smooth out everything and I feel like it just helps everything look so much smoother. So like I said, I'm just pressing it throughout my whole face where all through here and on my forehead, my chin, under my nose, and just pretty much everywhere to really get that foundation set. After I use my Fit Me powder, I go in with the e.l.f. Mineral powder, and I kind of go around the edges of my face because I feel like that just gives me a little more depth before I do my bronzer, and I feel like it adds more of a <laughs> tan and a real shape to my face. I just feel like it makes me look better. <laughs> now that my face is set down, I take my Hoola by Benefit Bronzer with my bronzing brush and I go into the cheekbones. Go a good bit into the cheekbones. I also go like a little bit higher so it kind of raises your cheekbones a little bit and it gives you more of a lifted look. I go into my temples right here a little bit in kind of the temple area and my eye. Do the same to the other side, right on the cheekbones and a tiny bit above, almost like where you put your blush, and then other temple, and then I go into my forehead, and I just do a little bit around the edges to give me my shape back, and so I don't look like flat. <laughs> Once I am finished defining my cheekbones and my nose and my forehead with my bronzer, I take my blush and my blush brush and tap off the excess a little bit. Don't want it to dust all over your face. And I go a little by little because you can add product onto your face, but you can't really take it off. So I always go a little bit at a time, build it up a little bit until you get your desired look. I go all on my nose. I go across kind of the highlights of my face across here. I just kind of sweep all right here. That's where I put my blush. 
So after I finish my base, I just brush out my eyebrows and then I take my NYX eyebrow pencil and my ColourPop Boss Brow Gel and I use those two to define my eyebrows. So after I've used the pencil to define my eyebrows and make them darker, I take the brow gel to just kind of set the hairs in place so they don't move around and the color lasts longer. For my eyes, I prime my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. That's, I guess, the shade. And I just use the wand and I put a little bit over top of my eyelid and then I blend it out with my finger. And I just really think that this helps my eyeshadow stick on and it does not budge. I always make sure that I take my setting powder and I go in over top of the primer and I just set it because I think that that just helps the eyeshadow blend a lot easier and it just makes for an overall better experience. So for this light green look, I'm taking the James Charles palette and I'm starting off with the color Social Blade and I'm lightly going in my crease and just kind of blending it up above and that'll be the main shade that I'm going to be using for this look. So after I've blended the shade up until there's a little bit of space between the color and my brow, I'm going to take the dark green shade and just go a little bit in my outer V to add, you know, a good bit of depth to the color. So I took the green in my outer V and I honestly just blended it out a good bit. And so now I'm going to take my primer again and I'm going to put it in my lid and I'm going to shape it into a half cut crease. So I'm just going to form the shape like a little quarter of a circle. I'm going to make a line, do this so it doesn't smudge, make a line and I just kind of blend it out so I can get a good shape. So I took the shade Ring Light and I just kind of packed it where I put the primer and really made sure it was really pigmented and stuff like that. And then I took my brush that I used to blend out Social Blade and I just took Social Blade again and I put it underneath my eye just like that to kind of help smoke out the color and just kind of help the eye give more of the effect. So that's what I did. So now I'm going to do everything that I just did on this eye on the other eye. So the next time I see you, I'll have both eyes finished. So now that I have both eyes done, I'm going to take my NYX eyeliner and that's the point. And I'm just going to do a little simple wing. So I have my mirror in front of me. And how I do my eyeliner is I start in the middle with a very small line. I always make sure I'm just looking down at my mirror and I rest my hand on my face and I start by going inner into the inner corner and I just extend it down there and then go into the outer corner, do a little bit of that. I make a small triangle extending from the outside of my eye, small parts at a time. And then once I'm happy with that length, I will kind of connect it to the rest of my eye. And so you should have a nice triangle shape that's just kind of going up. So now that I've finished both wings on both eyes, I take a little bit of lash glue and I put it on my knuckle and I then take my eyelash and I just put the glue on top of the lash band. Make sure there's a good amount on there. I always make sure there's a good amount on the inner and outer corners so it does not come up while I'm trying to, I guess, just go throughout the day in the look. And then I just roll it out. And then I'll do my eyelashes, like my mascara, while this is getting tacky, and then I'll put it on. So now that the glue is tacky, I'm just going to look down at my mirror and just place it 
as close to my eyelashes as I can in the middle and then I go in very close and I place the inner corner down. I make sure it's down really good and that it's not trying to wiggle around or come up at all. And so there you go. You have a lash. And now I'm just going to do the other eyelash on my other eye. Okay, now that I have both eyelashes done, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm going to start off by taking... Oh, now that I have both eyelashes on, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm going to start off by taking the NYX Professional Lip Pencil in the color Natural. And I'm just going to line my lips a little bit to give them more shape before I put a lipstick on. Okay, so now that I've lined my lips, I'm going to take the Models Own Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked. And I'm just going to kind of just apply it my lips and do one even layer to make everything look seamless. So this is the finished look, a nice little lime green moment with a nude lip. So if you liked this video, please subscribe, like this video, and comment more ideas if you want. Uh, follow my Instagram at Castle Does Makeup and my TikTok, which is Caroline Castle Twenty Eight. Thank you so much. Be safe and wear a mask. Bye.